Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today is the continuation of the Polaris solo survival series. You guys absolutely love the first one and for that I thank you. In today's video we're going to do more PvP, expanding the base and doing our first profit trade. Last video I asked for 500 likes and we absolutely smashed it so today's like goal is 510 likes. If you reach that goal I will upload episode 3 tomorrow. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Lately your guys' support is truly incredible. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one which is a glowing pirate hat. To win this mythical make sure to like, subscribe and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. If you're interested the link will be in the description below. If you haven't joined the 5 mythical giveaway yet either make sure to join it today. Today's video is sponsored by Bottle Rock Napa Valley LVR edition. Bottle Rock is going to be an unturned event which is a talent show. In this show you will meet a ton of well known community members including myself. It is an in-game event sponsored by LVR Film Studios and LVR Network and I will be the host. LVR Network runs a lot of events in Unturned and I recommend that you participate. Tickets and LVR Network are in the description below and let's dive into the video. Alright boys, day number 2. We're back on, we didn't get traded thankfully. Everything is still pretty much good. Now today I do have some plans of what I want to do. First of all, I will be going to the dead zone. I will be trying to get as much gunpowder as possible. We already can buy a couple. But yeah, this is where we left off last time. We did start off the second floor. Today we will probably expand on that as well. And this is the gas mask that we got from the kill. That we got from the toxic dude. And I'm going to make myself a filter. To make a filter we need lotuses, cans and rope. Which are we good. And we got ourselves a filter. Alright, so that's going straight in my vault. And the gas mask as well. Now, hopefully, we don't die. I would be very, very upset if we die. Thankfully, this gas mask, we got it from killing. So, we didn't actually farm for it. But we would still lose two lotuses, basically. Alright, so yeah, that's going to be my first thing that I'm going to do today. I'm not going to wear mercenary. I'm still going to go with a normal military outfit. Since I don't actually have that much mercenary, I think I only have the one backpack. And yeah, this is how we're going to start leaving our base. We're not going to open any doors. We're just going to jump out. And then we'll just close the shutter. And let's go to Firk Peak. Now, there is a quite a ton of people on the server as well right now, so we still gotta be careful. But if we do manage to do this, we, we get ourselves a ton of gunpowder, then we can start hitting up some base raids. There are quite a ton of bases on the server. Hopefully, we'll find ourselves good ones, because there's probably going to be bases that are completely empty, and we don't want that. Got armored plates, let's go. Hopefully, make ourselves a full armored uh, one by one, which will be the loot room. But that'll come later, obviously. Oh, we're very... We're getting very close, but I hear a lot of shots going on in the background. And I actually think that's inside the dead zone, so there probably is people there. I don't know what that gun is, I think it's a Penumbra actually, man. Alright, let's just wear the gas mask, we're gonna rush straight for him. Problem is, I only have a Kinney, man, so I actually need to get myself a huge advantage on him by trying to kill him from behind or something, because Kinney and the Penumbra, the Kinney is, is quite weak, man. Uh, they have, what is that, a vector? Whoever this guy is, he's stacked, man. If I do get to kill, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Yeah, there's a car out here. There's zombies out here. He might actually be down here. He's trying to kill the boss zombie and I can't go down there. And there's a lot of zombies around. Oh yeah, I actually do think he's down there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna kill the zombies up here then. I got myself some gunpowder already. Yeah, he's probably down there killing the boss. Alright, let's just kill the zombies quickly then. He can't get up here very quickly anyway. Same time, we're getting ourselves a ton of money, which is good because we can buy gunpowder with that. Uh, even more gunpowder. There's a lot of zombies, man. How come there's so much? Alright, let's pop the filter. Let's continue spraying these dudes down. A lot of flamers. Oh my god. We got ourselves another drum. Wait, I see him. Wait, I saw the guy. Oh yeah, I see his barrel. He's back here. And I am dead. I left him so low, man. I hit him so many times, I don't know how he didn't die. Well, I lost the gas mask. Great start to today, man. Alright, so a bit of a setback. I hear shots, but it's fine, ladies and gentlemen. I should have got myself a better gun and not run around with a SMG, but it's okay. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get myself as much lotuses as possible. I do have all of them in my vault. Since the only lotuses that we used were the ones that we got from the Horde Beacons. We didn't actually craft any yet from the truck. And our last few kills had quite a ton of them. So, let's just take everything out from vault. We should get quite a ton, actually. The pay-to-win guy blessed us with them when we killed them. Another one, third one. 
fourth one. Uh, we need another drive. All right, that's totally fine. We can still make wall or we need is another drive, which I think we do have another one. All right, we are back in base. Now with the grenades, I'm going to craft C4 and gunpowder. I'm pretty sure I can buy gunpowder actually. All right, yes sir, we bought ourselves some gunpowder. We pretty much used all of the money that we had on them, but we can make three C4, which is not that bad to be honest. Because next thing that I want to do is I want to start a raid. But first things first, we need to get ourselves more loot. We need to get ourselves tape, I'm pretty sure. Perhaps even grenades. So that's going to be my next objective. Alright, so full moon's over. We got ourselves a detonator, which is very, very lucky. And I have no space in my vault because we could have used lotuses to make a detonator but we got lucky and we actually got one right now which is amazing to be honest all right so i'm getting some bandages and dressings grenade lovely mre all right not too bad now this server if you guys aren't aware is pretty much a normal survival server except for the fact that it has a shop but other than that zombies are not high times loot the only thing that there is is double forageables so if you get yourself a polaris flower you actually get two instead of one which is nothing that op obviously all right yeah we are back in base Let's get ourselves the tape. More tape. I'm gonna craft myself as much C4. Oh yeah, I have enough tape. Perfect. And grenades. Let's get the lotuses as well. One, two. All right, I need more grenades actually. All right, let's just put the gunpowder on the floor for now. We'll put the lotus on the other lotuses. Put the tape here as well. And let's go get more grenades, ladies and gentlemen. Probably our HUDs to military. That's where... A lot of people will probably be, so maybe we'll get ourselves some kills. I'm still kind of bummed out that we lost the gas mask, to be honest. And there was so much gunpowder over there, man. But it's fine. We'll make another one later and we'll just go to the dead zone again. Wait, I hear... What? I hear jackhammer. Or chainsaw. What is that? Wait, that could be literally underneath the mines. Alright, I think there's people in the mines that are harvesting metal. I'm gonna go kill them. It's gonna be such easy metal. Hopefully they don't kill me. Alright, let's jump down. I hear shots in the background as well. Oh yeah, there's there's two guys. And they seem geared, actually. Right, one guy dead. Both dead. Lost bullet killed them, man. Alright, so food. This guy doesn't have that much. He has two shotguns. As for this dude. Yeah, he has quite a lot of metal, copper coil, jackhammer. Gunpowder and the Lotus. Hey, oh, alright. Well, this guy has some pretty good glue, man. Let's take the Lotus, obviously. Wait, we need space for it. Let's just put the Kinney as a secondary, and there we go. This guy gave us a lot of metal, so a huge shout out to him, man. There's another dude. Oh, he's dead. This guy came out of nowhere, man. He terrified me. Alright, boys, we are back in base, and with all of that metal that we got from those dudes, I'm going to make lockers. That's all we need right now, as much lockers as possible. I'm gonna start putting glue in this one by one over here as well. There we go, three easy lockers. Copper coils were pretty nice as well, so I'm not too disappointed with that kill. Okay, so, two shotguns, I'm gonna take them, but I'm probably never gonna use them. But they'll be like a prized trophy of the double kill that I just got. Alright, so I'm gonna craft the next C4. Since those dudes had what we needed. I need the Lotus still. And there we go. The third C4 has been crafted. So that means that maybe it's time to look for a wooden raid. Three C4 should be more than enough. Let's put the Lotuses over there. The detonators and the charges in our vault. We'll put the gunpowder here. That's the only gunpowder that we have left, man. After the raid, hopefully it'll be a good raid, it wouldn't be an empty raid. We'll have to farm ourselves even more. But yeah, let's go. Alright, so we're currently on the mountain. A lot of people tend to build actually decent bases here for some reason. Because they think nobody's gonna come here, but this is the first place I check. And yeah, it looks like we found ourselves a wooden base. It's quite big actually, it's a 4x2. And then there's a triangle at the side. Yeah, there's one-way glasses over there. All right, let's give this base a raid. So it should take one C4 and like two Brenter shots, but obviously we don't have a Brenter, so we're gonna have to use two C4 for this. All right, let's just place a charge. Maybe it will be enough. Yes, sir, it wasn't. Let's place the second one. Hopefully this one will throw. Yes, sir, broke all four of them. And yeah, there's a bunch of loot. There are two cars inside, lockers. This one's empty. A bunch of ammo, nothing, nothing. All right. Is this base raid bad? Alright, gun parts, a military backpack, that's an upgrade, a crate, sign crystal, vector, another vector, nothing, nothing, a vehicle, another vehicle. Alright, well this one, okay, there's a better loot. Industrial copper coil, that's pretty good. A fully decked out Merlin, bunch of junk, more junk. 
bunch of tape. I mean, I'm gonna take the tape. It's always important. Some attachments. There's some money as well. There's a gas mask. All right. Actually, really good since we lost one earlier. Fibers. Nothing. 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 And nothing. Yeah, I think these are gonna be all empty. Broken gas mask. That's pretty good. Bunch of food. Biohazard trolls. Copper coil. All right. So there are some lockers. So perhaps we should just use the one c4 that we have left to raid them maybe we should check if there's anything in the trunks as well of the vehicles yeah there's nothing in these ones i'm gonna check to make sure i didn't miss anything good though. yeah this car has absolutely nothing in the trunk this one either all right let's just use the c4 it's probably gonna be a waste but who knows maybe there's a 10 c4 inside it oh yeah broke and looks like a brenzer oh that's actually really really good and a sword backpack copper coil Armored plates, what helmet. Oh, that was pretty good. And it has a bullet. So maybe, since we put C4 very close to the other locker, it could break. Yes, sir, it did. And another detonator, walnut, night vision, mercenary clothes. Yeah, we got ourselves a four mercenary outfit. So it's pretty good. All right, yeah, we're done with this raid then. Not too bad. We did get ourselves some high tier clothes. Brent's here, a bunch of guns. Another gas mask. So we did get some important items from 3C4. But yeah, now we gotta farm. We gotta get ourselves more raiding gear. Right, let's make sure we didn't miss anything and let's get out of here. Let's home afterwards. Alright boys, we are back in base. I'm gonna make myself a scrap locker and then an armored locker. These lockers are very, very good. Uh, let's put it over here at the side. That looks pretty nice. Right, let's put the Brenter and all of the new guns that we've gotten. Probably got a bunch of guns that I'm probably never ever gonna use. I'm not gonna wear mercenary, I'm gonna wear normal clothes for now. Even SWAT, I am not going to wear any of those. I don't wanna risk them, man. Alright, so we'll put the crate over here and we'll put the outfit in here as well. The industrial copper coil. I'm still wearing the gas mask. We gotta not run around with that. Or if we lose it, I would be even more upset. But yeah, actually, maybe I can make myself another filter and we could go to the dead zone and give it another try and get as much gunpowder from there as possible. So I think that's my next step. But before we actually do the dead zone stuff, I'm gonna get as much metal as possible. I feel like farming right now, so why not? Oh, somebody's closed. They shot... Alright, yeah, I think that's enough metal for now. Let's just vault the cans. Maybe let's go try to hunt down whoever shot so we can get ourselves an easy kill or something. Alright, so I'm gonna go in the safe zone as well. I didn't find the guy that was shooting earlier, but I'm gonna claim some quests, which I will probably never do. Yeah, I didn't do any missions that that guy likes to do. Alright, let's just claim this dude. This guy, we can actually do it because it's zombie kills and I kill zombies all the time. Alright, so I'm back in base and I'm going to make myself another filter. We need... Uh, we need rope. Now, do I have any rope? Hopefully I do, man. Oh yeah, there's two over here. Alright, filter has been crafted. And we all know that means we're going to the dead zone very, very soon. Right, let's place everything that we don't want to lose over here. Put the grenade. Now, even armored plates today, I'm gonna get them. Because I do want to build a lot of armored base parts today. Alright, let's close that. Alright, boys, we're in the dead zone. Hopefully nobody looted it. And if there are people here, I will... Oh, yeah, there's zombies coming. All right, that's perfect. I did bring a silencer with me so they wouldn't hear me, even though they still probably will be able to. Yeah, a lot of zombies are coming. All right, let's reload. Uh, let's pop our filter, even though we kind of popped it a bit early, but it's fine. And right, we killed a lot of them. A bunch of ammo. Now, even gun oil will pick them up because we can actually sell them. Gunpowder and the penumbra box. A lot of flamers are coming. Get ourselves a, a drum for the walnut, so it's really good. Uh, we killed a bunch more. Two gunpowder there, a bunch of armored. There's more coming. Killed a ton more. Let's make sure we didn't leave anything down here. Yeah, it seems okay though. Armored plates. Let's kill this dude. Bevlar. Another dude there. A bunch of more ammo. Power plant. Alright, power plant are very, very useless, man. Alright, so this time, I'm going to put them straight in my vault. Also, on the way here, they get ourselves a sentry engine from one of the barrels on the floor, which was pretty nice. So maybe later on, we can make ourselves some sentries. Alright, let's kill this dude. We got ourselves a sniper mag. Alright, so over here, there's another area where zombies are basically stuck in, so let's just go kill them. Alright, so they're behind this wall, so we gotta jump over like that. Let's kill them. A bevlar. Another bevlar. Alright, let's reload the... I'm about to run out of ammo, actually. Oh, wait, we got ourselves a penumbra box. There's a gunpowder over here. Let's take that. Oh, there's a drum. Perfect. All right, let's kill all of the crawlers. That guy dropped gunpowder. Perfect. Let's go. All right, yeah, and I think we cleared them all. 
dead zone run. We got ourselves like, a lot of items, man. I'm really happy with it. All right, this one dropped Kinney. All right, let's get out of here. Let's home. All right, we're back for another metal run. This is gonna have... We're gonna have to do this a lot today. <laughs> we're gonna have to farm so much, man. Uh, we are back in base. I made myself an armored wall, finally. I'm gonna put it over here. Got ourselves another one. Now, these walls, I will not get rid of them. Because later on, I will, when I'm upgrading base, making it bigger, I will obviously be using them. So, let's just put them here for now. And I hear shots, so let's go. Let's go try to get ourselves some kills. Because today, we only got, like, three kills. Which is not that much compared to yesterday. And we got ourselves some pretty good loot from this run. Oh, wait. There's a guy. Hey, there's a guy. The experience beret. Oh, yeah, he's clueless. Oh, my God, I missed. Alright, he's dead. Alright, let's kill this dude. And, alright, fully... Oh my god, this guy has a bunch of flowers. He has a drum, a bunch of ammo. Alright, yeah, we're done with this Lutron. Let's just find some place safe and home so that we could depot. We also have one charge, by the way. So that's pretty nice. But for now, I'm not gonna focus on raiding, that's for sure. Alright, boys, so I got enough money to buy myself gunpowder to make another C4. So let's go. Another one has been crafted. Absolutely amazing. The, okay, well, there's a zombie floating. Now we're close to haze. A lot of shots. Oh, okay, that is very, very close. People teleporting. People killing each other in there. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna try to make a play then. We'll give it a try. Oh, he's literally roof camping on top of the dome, man. All right. It's, oh, he's right. He's pushing me. I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh, I hit him. And I am dead. I hit him so many times, but... Oh, there's even more shots here. Well, I just lost ourselves another loadout here. Yeah, I have no guns in my vault. Bro, that guy was literally roof camping, man. On haze. I don't think I ever saw that in my life. I made myself a kit, which is a kinney kit. This is like a daily kit. So if I lose this... Oh, there's even more shots. It's a fully decked out, dude. Oh my god. Okay, bro, he has a Brinter and ammo. Dude. All right, let's take this and get the hell out of here. We'll take this and home, man. I'm not gonna stick around, that's for sure. Bro, Brinter ammo. Oh, there's another guy there. Wait, did I kill him? No, I didn't. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna stay here, man. I'm gonna get out of here. We got ourselves really, really good loot. I'm just gonna vault the ammo already. I'm gonna strip the Brinter, put the ammo in vault. Now, if we die, at least we save that. There's a guy there. All right, he's dead. I'm getting shot at. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get out of here, man. All right, yeah, we're safe. Let's home. All right, that was actually incredible, man. I'm not gonna lie. Got so much loot. Thankfully, the guy at Dome killed me. And when I say Dome, I mean Haze. Because then we got ourselves a full mercenary outfit. And Brenter ammo, man. We could literally raid with that. It's incredible. There's two guys, man. One of them... One of them is geared, actually. Hold on, let's run pause naked. Kill this dude first. And then we'll kill this guy. All right, easy. Wait, what? Where's his loot? Where's he even his body, man? What the hell just happened? Wait, I think exactly when we killed him, he homed or TP'd away. And then all of the loot is wherever he TP'd. Oh my god, bro. That's so unlucky. He seemed really geared, too. Alright, so we're gonna go for another dead zone run really quickly. And I'm gonna take a shortcut. We're gonna go to the safe zone. And then from there, we're gonna teleport to the dam that is very, very close. In the meantime, yeah, let's collect rewards from this dude. Let's go to the dam. And we're very close to the dead zone now. Alright boys, dead zone run number three. Hopefully it will go swell like the previous one. But yeah, there's a lot of zombies around, so let's just kill them as quickly as possible. I'm gonna try to finish with this filter actually. We do have one more, so that we could come back later again without having to craft another filter, you know? Yeah, I've killed a lot of them already. I'm gonna have to use the filter though. Alright, we're out of 9mm mag, so we have to use this for now, the grill. Now let's pop the filter. Gunpowder, lovely. I hear shots as well. Another gun pile there. Amazing. Yeah, a bunch of more ammo. A bunch of gun parts. That's really good. Another gun pile there. Penumbra box. More gun pile there. Armored plates. Oh, there's close. There's shots very, very close. All right, let's vote the gun pile there just in case. Let's take this one. All right, let's get out of here. We did pretty much pick everything up. All right, back in base. Big W, I'm not gonna lie. We can make quite a ton of C4 with that. So I'm really, really happy with the progression that we just did. Alright, bot zombie dead, military drive, pretty good. Nice home. Alright, so with that drive that we just got... Oh wait, we already had one, never mind. I brought it as an extra by mistake. Oops, okay. It's fine, I'll just get myself more lotuses. Perfect, let's go. And we're out. Alright, we got ourselves two lotuses, not too bad. Oh, I didn't... Bro, I didn't see him. Oh, and I died from behind. Alright, here's shots. 
Yeah, they're still here then. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna kill them, obviously. Bro, they just came out of nowhere and I didn't even see a single one of them. And then another dude pops up. Oh, he's right over there. What's up, bro? What is... Alright, both dead. Alright, let's kill this dude. Uh, he had a grill. Thankfully, I actually didn't lose that much items earlier, even if I didn't kill him. There's a lot of shots going on in here. Let's go try. So, kill everyone. Oh, there's a slide here. Perfect. We. Oui. Yeah, we're here. Oh, wait. That was, was very close, actually. Now, where is he? His bullets were by here. Yeah, he's right here. He's dead. Two vectors. Mad kids. I hear someone swimming. He's right there. Bro, die. Alright, there he is. Now just swim faster. Alright, anything good, bro? Oh no. Poor guy didn't even have a gun. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, he's dead as well. This guy has a shotgun and some ammo. There's even more shots. Alright, I'm just gonna take this and home though, because my inventory is full of guns now. Alright, boys, we are back in base. Depot. Today we actually didn't build anything. So probably tomorrow that's what we'll focus on. I really like my base design so now actually. I don't know why. It's kinda stupid, but I like it. Uh, let's go for a couple more Lutrons, try to get ourselves some more kills, maybe. And I'm probably gonna head off very, very soon. Oh, there's loot here. There's a bed as well. Oh, there's a... Yeah, let's check out. Oh, nothing. That... Dude, I hear steps. What? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, he has some loot. A bunch of guns. Bro, how... He just run up right from behind me. I don't know how he didn't see me. Alright, let's destroy this bed. It could be his... Alright, that's pretty nice. Let's take everything and get the hell out of here. Alright everybody, and that is the end of episode 2. Now, now in episode 3 we will continue probably the best PvP I've ever done in Polaris. If you guys do want that to happen very very soon, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys making it till the end. Thank you so much for the recent support lately as well. It's honestly insane. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!